Hey guys, welcome to a three-part series of our Stencil tutorial on how to create uh, a selectable inventory. And uh, we'll also look at some uh, additional things at the end of the tutorial as well on how we can uh, create some cool bullet effects. Uh, so let's get started. Um, so I'm gonna use the, um, from one of my other tutorials here, uh, serve that as a basis, the menu select tutorial. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to import some new buttons into this. So uh, I'm going to import an inventory button. I've already got the button for that created in uh, using PowerPoint. So I'm just going to import the image at one times scale. So make sure you check that one times scale here. And let's just check where I have that. Did I forget to screenshot it? Okay, let's screenshot that right now. So screenshot that, inventory, and back buttons. Okay, let's go back here. Let's check our desktop again. Right, so let's open up that inventory button, let's add that in. And uh, let's also import the back to game button. Because I already have a back button here. So again, you add an animation and a frame and import the green back button. Okay, let's add that in. Okay, so uh, we want to be able to go to our inventory in our game setting here. So I'm going to add a button to go to inventory, not back, but to inventory. Okay, of course we have to clean that up a little bit more to make it look a little bit more appealing. And this button is going to go to an inventory scene. So we need to create a new scene called uh, Inventory. All right, so uh, this is just a simple scene and actually I'm gonna import a grid here. So I've got a little grid image there that I'm gonna import as an actor. So create an actor, um, just call this grid. Okay, click through here, import the images, one time scaling and I'm going to import this grid image that I've got. Okay, and so let's go over here back to my inventory, add my grid in. Okay, so we can do, just throw it somewhere in the middle there. And we'll also throw in our back to game button. Okay, so uh, we will be looking at adding some more items into this inventory a little bit later. Actually, I might just uh, create a uh, I think we'll probably need two grids a little bit later. So we have two items in our inventory. Um, but let's get these back buttons working in this first part of our tutorial. Um, so this should be, uh, it's the same as our other tutorial on uh, game select. So button back to game, we're going to set that up. When we click on this button, click on the actor. So when the mouse is pressed on ourself, which is the back to game button, we're going to go to game flow, scenes, game flow. I'm going to just going to do crossfade because there's uh, less to do there. And this is going to go back to our scene, which is our village scene. So I'm going to select the village scene, crossfade for one second. Okay, this is going to go back to our game. Button inventory is going to go to, under events, it's going to go to our inventory scene. So again, input on actor. When the mouse is pressed on ourself, we are going to be going to game flow. We're going to do another crossfade. Choose scene, and we're going to go to our inventory scene. Crossfade for one second. It looks like there's a problem with that for some reason. I wonder why that is. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, let's test this game out and see what happens. Compiling. Okay, so monkey or crocodile, monkey. And let's check our inventory button. Good. And let's check our back button. It goes back to our game. Okay, so we can uh, have our monkey 
uh, select different things in his inventory, and that might affect uh, how he does things a little bit later on. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is, uh, with a little bit of time left, I'm also going to download uh, actor types, one of the bullets here. So I'm going to download an enemy bullet. And I'm actually going to, going to download the coin as well. So I go back to Stencil Forge. So I'm going to use the coin as a um, as a button as well, sorry, as a bullet. So he's going to be shooting up and throwing up coins. Okay, that's good. Okay. Uh, oh, looks like there's one there. All right, that should be good enough for now, and I will continue on in my next tutorial on where we go from here.